if, if you're not expecting that resume on the front end, like, I guess, so there anything you're doing or is there other stuff or again, LinkedIn, like yeah, what, what else are you guys using? Yeah. So we do give candidates, they have the option of uploading a resume. They also have the option of sharing their LinkedIn. Some candidates don't do either. Mm. Um, so I'll share what we have, but um, one thing I'll say is kind of to your point, I mean, a great resume, never hurt anyone. Um, I once had a candidate apply and then apologize and say, I accidentally shared my resume. I'm sorry. I missed that you're a no resume company. And I was like, no, 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 it's definitely not going to count against right. you. Um, and so um, we love to see a great resume, but if you don't have a great one, we don't want that to be a barrier. Um, if you have a solid LinkedIn profile, that's a really great alternative. And if you don't have that either, either you're not on there, I do recommend getting on LinkedIn. We love to look people up. I think most recruiters do, yeah. but um, that's also not required. What we do have is questions. We do not ask you to do, this is my pet peeve, most people's pet peeve. We never ask you to upload or to enter where you went to school and what job you had and what title and responsibilities. We don't get any of that, but our application does ask questions that relate exact ex specifically to the role and the skills needed in the role. And often there's some sort of performance task. So on our customer support team, for example, we asked you to actually build a Zap. So if you know our product, uh, Zap, uh, Zapier is like our, our name and our product, um, and you build Zaps within Zapier, it's an automation uh, tool. And so if you know how to build one, great. It's going to be really easy for you to build the Zap. If you don't, but you're able to take the time to learn how to use our product and show that skill, well, that's good enough. Now you've like shown us, hey, I know how to like use this. I can right. figure, it out, figure it out. So whether you've been using us for a week or using us for two months or two years, like it doesn't really matter. Like you're able to show us the skill. So, you know, that's an example. Hiring for recruiters will ask you to share like how you've sourced a candidate creatively or right. um, will share a profile of a role and say, um, or, you know, job description and say, hey, like go find one candidate on LinkedIn that you think is a fit for this and share them and explain how you found that candidate. Um, you know, those sorts of things. So we'll share, have them do some sort of small performance task that shows us some of the skills needed for a role. Um, and then we also have a couple of questions. So again, with those support roles, often we'll ask them to maybe write an email of, you know, you're in a situation where a candidate can't um, or where uh, someone writes you and, you know, they're frustrated that you don't have this integration, share with us how you would respond to that challenge. If we can see that a candidate, you know, is writing really strong emails, it's less important that they've had a bunch of experience because they're showing us kind of the skills throughout that application. 100%. 100%. Yeah. It's like a behavior-based interview without necessarily having to go through yeah. 